Ageless Restyling. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am doing a video request and I've had several requests <laughs> to share my designer sunglasses collection. So I'm finally getting around to it. You know, I want you guys to remember that I do still work full time. I'm not retired yet. So it takes me a little while to get around to some of the video requests. I may be slow at doing it, but trust and believe I will do it. So today I'm going to be honoring one of the requests, which is to share my designer sunglass collection with you guys. Now I'm going to start off by saying nobody really needs this many, this much however much designer sunglasses. <laughs> I clearly have a problem and it's okay. <laughs> it's one of those little things that I have. One of my little pet peeves, I just have a thing for designer sunglasses. So um, throughout the years, actually not, not throughout the years, this, this obsession with designer sunglasses started during lockdown. And, and I don't even know why. Well, you know what? During lockdown, I still traveled. Yeah, I would travel throughout the United States and go to beaches and so forth. And I did go to the US Virgin Islands. So I did do some traveling during lockdown. So yeah, okay. So maybe that was it. Because I visited, I spent a lot of time during lockdown on the beach, you know. Went to Hilton Head, the US Virgin Islands, um, the Carolinas, um, Florida. So I spent a lot of time on the beaches during lockdown. So I, that's when my obsession with designer sunglasses really kicked in and, and started. So anyhow, let's get started. So y'all don't judge me. Like I said, nobody needs this, this much, this many, but I, I have this much, this many, and it's okay, all right? So let's get started. Now, I don't have my sunglasses organized by designer. I more or less have them organized by by types, like the the goals are together, the colors are together, um, the the silvers are together. So that's kind of how I have them typed. And as you can see, I have my sunglasses housed in this container that I purchased from Amazon. I I actually like this container. Um, because I can see from the outside what's in there and then make my selection that way. And it's, it's really neat and organized. So <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of stalling. Okay, so let's get started. All right, let's, let's just start with the colors because you know, it's summertime. So let's start with the colors, it's fun. So. Let's see. Yeah, let's start with my colored sunglasses. All right, so let's start with the fun color. If you guys have been watching me, you've seen these, these yellow sunglasses. These are, um, I think these are um, Kurt Geiger sunglasses. I love them, the yellow. I mean, <laughs> it's just so happy. When my sister, I have my makeup, so I, I, when I take my glasses off, I clean them. When my um, sister saw these, she tried to find them on Kurt Geiger, but she couldn't find them because these sunglasses are two years old, so she, she couldn't find them. I don't think they're um, available anymore. And then these, this orange one, you guys have also seen this. This is Burberry. And I purchased this one last year <laughs> um, when I was actually returning from Portugal. I purchased this orange Burberry sunglasses. I think they're really neat. <clears throat> and this purple one, this purple Versace, you guys saw this one when I confessed to my shopping expedition in Barcelona. Remember this? <laughs> so I got this one this year <laughs> during my no shop when I went to Barcelona. This is one of the sunglasses that I picked up. And this one is um, Stella McCarthy. I got this one last year. Oh, I love the, I love the pink. I, I just love the frame. And this is Stella McCarthy. And I actually found these Stella McCarthy at TJ Maxx last year. Um, 
before we go to that one, let's do some more colors because that one is white. And these are my blue. This is Tory Burch. And I actually, I think I got this one from Macari from the secondhand market because I was looking for uh, a navy blue sunglasses. And these, these are Dior. I think I got these last year. Another navy blue. And this green one is Bottega. And I got this towards the end of the year. You should remember this one. This one is Burberry, another green. And this was one of the ones that I picked up this year in Barcelona. <laughs> remember this year in Barcelona, I, I bought four new pair of sunglasses. And then, okay, let's go. Well, we could add this one. This is a vintage, you, you would have seen this too. This is vintage Gucci. I put it with the green because it has the green and the red. And I've, I think this is one of my very first designer sunglasses, this vintage Gucci. This one is old, 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 as you can see. I, I can't even tell you how old it is. I've had it for a very, very, very long time. Okay, so this, this is the color. Now let's go to the white. Let's start off with this one. This one is, um, who is it? Oh no, this one is Dior. It, it keeps reminding me of an, um, another designer that I have. This one is Dior. And I think I got this one from Saks, if I'm not mistaken, a couple years ago, don't quite remember. And this one is Prada. And I do remember getting this one from Saks a couple years ago. Now this one, my Mew Mew, you would have remembered this one from my Barcelona trip. <laughs> this was one of the sunglasses I purchased this year in Barcelona. And this one is Burberry. And I think I got this one last year from Amazon. I normally don't order sunglasses online without first trying them on. But the only reason why I ordered this one, and you'll see later, is because I knew that this style would be okay with me because I have a similar style. I have this one in another color and I knew that it would fit me because I already had it in another color. And here's an, this one, yeah, this one is Prada and I got this one in, um, this one was on my trip to Portugal, when I, in Portugal, I got this one in Portugal. I was in Portugal and I was wearing, I was going to wear all white outfit and I didn't have a white sunglasses and I went into one of their um, design stores that they have there and I purchased these glasses just to wear with an all white outfit. I think this was one of the first white designer sunglasses that I purchased and then thereafter I started getting these. And then this one, okay, forever, forever in a day, I have been pronouncing this one Q, it's spelled Q-U-A-Y. I've been pronouncing Quay. It's not Quay. It's key. <laughs> this is an Australian designer. And these are these are very, very, very affordable. I think this is the most the cheapest and the most affordable sunglasses that I have. But they're beautiful. And Q Q U A Y is pronounced key, not quay. <laughs> and forever in a day, I've been calling it quay. <laughs> I actually have a, another Quay sunglasses. That one is green. That's the one that I broke. 
I'm so upset. I broke the um the the handle and I put it in my car, went in my car, sat down, and I heard crunch, and I'm like, no! And I got up and I broke the handle, broke it. So I have that in my basket upstairs because I need to go, it needs to be repaired. I just need to take it in. They do repair their sunglasses. I just have to send it in to them to get it repaired. And I haven't done that yet. So those were my colors. Now let's see, let's go with the black, the brown, the gold section. You know, black and gold or something like that. Okay. So let's start here. This was my very, very, very first Dior sunglass purchase. And I love these. I've had these for a couple of years now, about four years, and I love them. They used to be one of my most worn and favorite sunglasses. <laughs> Haven't worn them as much recently, but I still love them. Um, this one is one of the very, very few Amazon sunglasses I still have. All my other Amazon sunglasses I've given to my daughter. But this one I have kept and it's simply because I just love the shape of it. And this one I really, really love how it looks on me and I love the weight of it. I love how it fits my face. It's, it, and I, 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 if I could find other sunglasses this quality like this from Amazon I would keep it <laughs> but this is the the only sunglasses that I ordered from Amazon that I have kept all my other Amazon sunglasses I have given to my daughter this one is Michael Kors one of the only Michael Kors sunglasses that I have and I actually thrifted this one a couple years ago um I don't really wear it. <laughs> so, you know, I'm saying I don't really wear it. The minute I say that, my sister is going to come running. Wait a minute. You say you don't really wear that sunglasses. <laughs> give it here. <laughs> I might just give it to her if she wants it. Because I really, really, really don't wear it. And I've had it now for a very long time. Okay. Okay. This one is Gucci. I, I don't know where I got this one. I, <laughs> it's just been around. Where did I get that? I have no idea. Okay, I, I, after a while you kind of forget because you, you've had them for so long, they're just here. So, you know, like I said, I started this fascination with sunglasses for the past two, three years. And I, every time I would travel, go on vacation, you know, leave the house. <laughs> The first place I used to hit up was the sunglass section. I don't know why I had such an obsession with them. And this one is my Chanel. Love this one. Classic, 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 classic. Can't beat it. Absolutely love, love, love this one. So that's the black. Actually, this is in the wrong section, but that's okay. Maybe I ran out of space. Okay. This one is Tom Ford. It seems like I had it, for a while I got, had an obsession with Tom Ford because I seem to have purchased this similar, is this twisted? Have I twisted it somehow? I may have to get it adjusted because when I put it on, I felt like it's twisted. Okay. So here's this Tom Ford. It seemed like I've, I've what you see, the next one I show you is kind of similar. So I have to stop doing this. <laughs> I'm gravitating toward it. This is Tom Ford. And here's the other Tom Ford. This one, it's it's the shape is similar, but the, the side is wider. So here's this one. And then if there's a sunglasses that's very, very, very special to me, it's this LV. My sister 
CJ got me this LV and I absolutely love it. It's very it's an interesting thing about it. We were we went to the LV store. She was purchase, purchasing a bag. And um I can't remember what happened. They didn't have the bag she wanted or something. And I was just walking around just browsing the sunglass section like I always do when if I see sunglasses, I'm going to look at them. <clears throat> So I was browsing the sunglass section. I tried this one on and I'm like, oh, I love this. I like this. Then I said to my sister, CJ, I said, buy this to me. My birthday is coming up. Buy this to me. And she did. Y'all, this wasn't cheap. I was just like in shock. <laughs> I was in shock. I'm like, she, you, you, she said, okay. I'm like, you going to get it for me? She said, your birthday's coming. I'm like, I, 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 y'all, I, I was in shock. See? Closed mouth, don't get fed. <laughs> we have not because we ask not. Had I not, and I was literally just playing. And I just kind of like, buy this my birthday's coming up, and she did. But this is very, very special to me because of that, because my, my sissy purchased it for me for my birthday. As a matter of fact, one day I came home, and the audacity, audacity of my daughter she, she took it out. I, I I know when something is missing. I have a lot of stuff, as you guys know. I have a lot of stuff. But everything have its place. So when something is out of is missing from its place, I know instantly. So I came home from work. She was living with me at the time. And I noticed that my my LV sunglasses was missing. And I know who the culprit was. So I called them like, did you take my sunglasses? Yeah, ma. I said, you need to bring those back right away because if you damage those or break those, it's going to hurt your pocket to try and replace them. I don't even think you can replace these because I, these are, I think these are discontinued. But I'm like, you need to bring those sunglasses back right away. Your auntie bought those to me for my birthday. She came back right away and she brought them back. I said, don't touch this. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the only sunglasses she could use is the one from Amazon. <laughs> Okay, these are Versace. I think I have a theme going here with this style of sunglasses. I think I need to, to stop. And, <laughs> and another similar one to the Versace, but these are, um, these are Stella McCarthy. <laughs> and I actually... I think I thrifted these. We went to Tennessee a couple years ago where we went, um, we, we went to Tennessee for thrifting. We, for the weekend, we decided we we're gonna drive to Tennessee and spend the weekend thrifting. And one of the very first consignment shop we stopped uh, at, um, I found these Stella McCarthy. And I got them then. Okay. I think that's all the black and gold. Now let's go to the browns, the tans, and then we're gonna go to the silver. So here are the the, um, the tortoise shell and the brown family. Okay, these are Dior. I don't really wear this. These is my, I don't even wear this, I, yeah. I loved it at the time when I purchased it. I think I, I actually thrifted this one. I, I got this one from um, Labels Consignment Shop and Vinings. And these are Fendi. I'm just not into the it's, it's torturous, torturous, tor what? Well, yeah, I'll see. <laughs> the brown has, this type of brown as much. But I guess, you know how you go through cycles of things? It'll come back around. That cycle will come back around. And these are, who are these? Another Stella McCarthy. I have no idea where I got this one from. More than likely thrifted. Because I don't think I have purchased any Stella McCarthy retail. I think I purchased them from consignment shops. So I think more than likely I purchased this one from a consignment shop. And if I did, it probably be um, labels. Okay, who is this one? 
Okay, this one is Catherine Melandrina. My sister P gave this one to me. I have, I don't think I've ever worn it yet. I need to clean the lens. It's rather dirty. <laughs> so Cece gave this one to me. She no longer wanted it. That's what we do sometimes as sisters. Like, oh, I don't want this. You want it? And, and check, <laughs> and check to see if a sister wants it. <laughs> Okay, this one is Christian Dior. I really love this one. I love the style of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and the last, we, we're down to the last four sets. No, five. Okay. These are the, you know, before I go to the gold rim, let me continue on with this so that it makes sense. Okay. So these are Chloe. At one point I was, I had a Chloe, for, I, I, I was going crazy for Chloe. It's like, Chloe, 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 Chloe. <laughs> and so I got those Chloe sunglasses. And these are Versace. Yeah, these are Versace, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. And I like this one so much, I have it in another color. This time glasses, it's a name I'm, I was not familiar with. And I found it in Marshalls. And I wasn't familiar with the name, but I pulled it up. I, pay, I paid like $80 for this in Marshalls. And these sunglasses retail for over $300. And it's Paletto, Paletto. If, I think it's an Italian designer. But I, I fell in love with them. When I was in Marshalls, I tried them and I'm like, oh, I have to get these. And they were they were under $80. And then, like I said, when I pull up the designer name, you know, you Google everything. <laughs> and saw that they retail for over $300, I got them. These are Versace. You would have remembered this. This was one of my purchase in um, Port not Portugal when I went to um, Barcelona this year. Like I said, this year, when I went to Barcelona, I came back with four pairs of sunglasses. And these are my Fendi, another Fendi. Oh, it's, it's getting warm in here. And I have the fan and the AC on. <laughs> you know, I'm having a moment. I'm having so fun. You see sweat, if you see, not sweat, if you see glister, glisters. We see my 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 skin glittering. What is glittering? Glycerin. Whatever. If you see, you know what? Let's just go back to sweat. I'm having a moment. That's all it is. Okay. <laughs> so these are the Fendi. <laughs> okay. And let's start here. These are Gucci. And these are Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. I have. I just love saying that name. Saint Laurent. <laughs> and another Gucci. And. These, another Gucci. Boy, I went through a phase with Gucci, didn't I? <laughs> I really had a Gucci phase. <laughs> and these are Valentino. And you know what, I had, <laughs> the, the, the funny thing about this sunglasses, y'all gonna die. Well, not die, but I found these sunglasses in Nordstrom's and I had to have them. Nordstrom's rack. I was in Nordstrom's rack 
They were discounted because I got them in Nordstrom Drive. My Sissy P was with me and I tried these on. And I said, how do you know, what do you think? And she said, they're cute. <clears throat> but are you gonna wear them? Because they're kind of, they're so specific, you know? You will not believe, I've had these sunglasses in my collection for three years. And the very first time I wore these was when I went to California for my um, sister-in-law, laying my sister-in-law to rest. I've had these for three years. And the first time I wore them was a couple weeks ago. And I just had to have them when I first saw them. But like my sister said, they're very specific. I mean, with the, the print. And so it doesn't necessarily go with a lot of stuff. Excuse me. So every time I tried to wear them, I just didn't like the way how they looked. But because I knew I was gonna be wearing black when I went to Cali, I took them with me and I finally, finally wore them. Okay. Now these are, who are these? I can't see. Oh, these are Celine. You know, as I'm going through and putting them on, tell me which ones are your favorite and tell, and tell me which ones that you say, okay, Sharon, you need to get rid of those now. <laughs> these are, who are these? These are Balmain. And I think my sissy gave these to me. My sissy P gave these to me. These Balmain. And these are Chloe. Like I said, I had a Chloe phase where I just was going crazy with everything Chloe. And I actually love, love these. When I want to wear a sunglasses that's not too dark that I could wear inside and outside, I usually wear these. I usually carry these because I really, really love these. These are one of my favorites for indoor, outdoor, you know? Especially when you're traveling and I'm heading to the airport, perfect indoor, outdoor sunglasses. Now, who are these? Are these? Who are these? Oh yeah, these are Tom Ford. Okay, I'll tell you the story behind this sunglasses. Put them on so you can see. My sister have a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses that I wanted. I love those sunglasses. I tried to find them. I looked high and low. I begged her for them. She wouldn't give them up. So I found these, they're similar, they're not the same. <laughs> they're, <laughs> it's still not the same as the one that I wanted. So I found these and I got them. <laughs> but oh my goodness, they still didn't quench the appetite for the one, but the one that she has is discontinued. I looked high and low and I couldn't find it. But these are the closest ones to it. And these are great too for indoor, outdoor because they're, they're not dark, you know, so you can, see very well even though even when you're wearing these indoors but p whenever you're ready to give up that tom ford sunglasses you know i'm waiting these are who are these these are Lueve. i actually love these because most of my um most of my um, gold sunglasses are, you know, kind of like the, the aviator style. These are the first square one that I have. Okay. Ah, coming down to the, <laughs> to the wire. Now these are primarily um, silver. nobody's counting because I try not to count to see how many I have as if you notice I didn't tell you how many I have I just said that nobody needs this many because if I count and I have a number in my head then it becomes like oh my god Sharon why do you have so many so I, I never count <laughs> I don't count <laughs> okay so now these are the silver so here's a Burberry
And here, this one is Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. And this one is Trendy. This is so cute. I think this one is so interesting. I think it's one of the most different um, sunglasses that I have. I think it's very, very interesting. And this one is Gucci. how many aviator style sunglasses I have because believe it or not I'm not a big fan <laughs> of the aviator sunglasses but I seem to have a lot of them and this one is um, Versace yeah it's similar to my brown Versace that I have my daughter keeps calling I'm gonna have to Hurry up so I could call her back. She should know when I don't answer. <laughs> I'm filming. <laughs> okay. This one is, um, who is this one? Is this one? I think this one is, um, I can't remember. Oh, I, can't, I always forget. Who's the, the um, let me think, because I can't see the name, I don't have my glasses on. Made in Italy. I can't. Okay. This is not, ooh. If you guys can remember <coughs> who this is that have the design right here. I can't remember. Anyhow, I don't wear it. <laughs> it's been sitting in here not worn. This is a Chanel with the glass. This one is Burberry. This is an old, old, old Burberry. Because it kind of, and you know what? It's coming back because the wraparound is coming back. My sister actually gave this to me many, 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 many years ago. Many, 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 many years ago. I used to wear it a lot. Don't wear it as much anymore. This one is, um, um, Gucci. Huh. Why don't I wear you? This one is Gucci. I can't tell the last time I've worn this. I may have found something I've just been discarding. I think this one, Balenciaga. It took me a moment. Yeah, this one is Balenciaga. It took me a moment to remember. This one is Chanel, another Chanel. And the last set of sunglasses so it closes properly. This one is another Versace. I think I have this. How many colors do I have this in? One, two. Oh, I thought I had another one. Okay. I thought I had another one. All right. So here's another Versace. And Gucci. For someone who don't like the aviator style glass sunglasses, I have a lot of them, don't I? <laughs> so 
So I guess I must think I don't like them in my head, but I actually do. Oh, wait a minute. Now we've been through this one already. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I lost track. Okay. So yeah, we, we went through that one. So those are my designer sunglasses. <laughs> I finally got the opportunity to share them with you and I you know I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with me as as requested sharing my designer sunglasses. This was requested so I shared. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Now if you've watched me to the end and not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would really really appreciate your support and I want to thank my subscribers so much for supporting me these past couple months. You know, I'm new to this to this arena and I've been welcomed and I really really appreciate you now remember if you enjoyed what you see thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up because that really helps with the algorithm with the al algorithm <laughs> to push my videos out there comment let me know which one you like let me know which one if you think I should get rid of any one of them you let me know um I may sell one you know especially one that um I just wore that the um the Valentina that I just wore that I've had for three years and just wore it one time. I may consider selling that one. So we'll see about that and comment below. So let me know your thoughts. Now remember, as I always said, there's always a reason to smile. Find that reason. No matter what's going on, we always have a reason to smile. And until next time, this is Sharon saying bye-bye. <laughs>